Go up to Frank Salive with the call of the Canadian Trotting Classic at Woodbine Racetrack. Frank? Thank you, Bruce and Gary. All of you on ESPN2 watching in the United States, TSN across Canada. Here we go for the 1997 22nd Annual Championship Final of the Canadian Trotting Classic. The trotters are on the gate. Up to speed, and here they come. They're off and trotting, and Schnitker has put Ambro Plato, as expected, first down to the lead, and famously, Gramola moving out fast to the outside. Lots of credit gets neatly to the inside at fourth. Ambro Pimlico is fifth. Tactor puts Red Crossing to the inside sixth. And Super Toy is going to follow that one from seventh. It's about three more lengths to Carriage House in eighth. Passing gear is ninth. And Westgate victory was tenth and last away. Carriage House is off stride into the first turn. The leader of the first quarter, Ambro Plato, in 26 and for a very fast opening tempo there for Armbro Plato, leading it by two lengths on famously into the back stretch. And lots of credit is hung out in third. Armbro Pimlico is at the inside and fourth as they swing into the Woodbine back stretch. Gramola fifth at the outside. Red Crossing stayed in from six. Super Toy is out and on the move from seventh. Passing gear is eighth. Then Westgate victory and Carriage House took himself out of it early. Armbro Plato at the half in 55 and four. A very rapid opening half. Tempo. Armbro Plato is on course for putting up the fractions needed for a track and Canadian record here. It's 155 flat. Armbro Plato leads it into the final turn. Famously has been taking the trip in second. On the outside third, lots of credit's been grinding away and Gramola's had a good trip. She's fourth. Armbro Pimlico went off stride. Now picking up fifth. Super Toy and he is sent wide. Then it's well back to Red Crossing. Westgate victory. Carriage House is out of it and so is passing gear. Armbro Plato to the top of the stretch. Super Super Toy has got to try to track him down from three and four wide out around Gramola into the stretch. Famously is off stride. Super Toy went off stride. Armbro Plato and the next closest pursuer is Gramola. Three quarter time was 125 flat. Armbro Plato now under urging Gramola. Here comes Red Crossing who's shaken loose late. Red Crossing is closing in for Tactor. Does he have enough racetrack? And the answer is yes. Red Crossing and Tactor have won it over Armbro Plato and Gramola in 150 six and four. Well, Bruce and Gary, a very slow last quarter of 31 and four, but Jimmy Tactor had some horse left when he needed it to win the Canadian Trotting Classic with Red Crossing, the 22nd edition in 156 and four. Let's send it back to you in New Jersey. 270, Gramola finished third, $4 even, the exact the returning 63.10, and the evens were this time.